All right, guys, I'm out here starting to work on what a lot of you have been waiting for, the new brake system. So I already pulled the, uh, the old master cylinder off the firewall. Got that laid down here next to the new uh, Hydro Boost unit. And I'm going to show you some differences between the mounting, push rod length, and how I am going to accomplish that. So all right, here's the old master cylinder. Nothing special. That one's got an inch and a half bore on it. This is the Hydromax unit. This is your power steering pump inlet. Here's your return. This right here is a warning, your uh, safety switch. Warning switch. That is normally closed. And if you get an issue with it, it opens, makes a contact. And this one gets wired up with a... Uh, light on the dash and then your actual master cylinder assembly is going to bolt on to these four studs right here uh, the master cylinder I have is a one and three quarter bore so it's a little bit bigger not a big deal and it's a split split system so half the master cylinder will center cylinder will be for the front the other half will be for the rear waiting on the proportioning valve to come in yet and some other parts for it and when i get done doing all this i'll write down all the part numbers so that you guys can see what i used and make your own decision from there for what you want to use now this system fits uh F600, 700, 800 series of trucks, uh, C600, C700, some of the L series trucks from 1984 to up to 1998. So they were used on a ton of trucks for a good long length of time. I'll also give you the uh, numbers for the manuals. There's two service manuals. One is a Bosch, one is a Bendex. They have the appropriate wiring diagrams in there. And your uh, pressure and return routing schematics. They give you two different wiring uh, diagrams and two different fluid pressure schematics to go off of depending upon how it's being used. Free to, down, free to download, so download them, print them out, read them, understand them. I've got troubleshooting guides in there for them. But uh, anyways, show you a couple of differences here between the new style and the old style here. So this is where it mounts to on the firewall. This is the pivot point on your brake lever. So we're, we're at about five and an eighth on that. And then this one is about six and three quarter. Now that's gonna play a little bit of a difference because that's gonna change your brick pedal arm and make it stick way up in the air versus down where it should be but that's easy to, to overcome because the mounting holes on this are 
between these two are different. We've got uh, about five inches right there. And then three and three quarter there. On there. That's about two and a half. And then on that, we're at three and three quarter. So we come up here. There's the old boning bolts. Your hole that your actuator goes through. Now you gotta remember we're about an inch and a half or so difference between the old and the new. So I think all I'm going to do is go and take some angle iron lay it that way and then have the other flat come out do that on both sides and put a flat plate across there or I might put a flat plate across here and have the angle come out and then come back over that way to mount the new one too I gotta do some test fitting yet to see what it's gonna look like but I'm gonna go with one of those two options I gotta measure the hole here then compare it to the new one try to keep, keep that somewhat sealed up so we don't get uh, exhaust fumes and other stuff into the, the cab. So I'll bring you guys back when I uh, I get that plate made up and at least mounted onto the firewall show you guys what I went with all right thanks for watching